like to introduce everybody to Brad Sugars, uh, the founder of the wildly successful Action Coach, a worldwide organization. Uh, Brad is uh, a speaker extraordinaire and a marketing guru. And back in January of 2018, in San Diego, at one of the Action Coach uh, Business Excellence Forums, I heard him talk about these 20 biggest marketing mistakes. And you know, the irony, Brad, is uh, I'm a PhD in marketing, I've taught marketing, and I'm listening to you <laughs> saying, wow, you know, this, I, I did learn a lot. And I said, wouldn't our listeners uh, really benefit from this? Uh, you know, there are probably hundreds upon hundreds of people in the audience there, but uh, this will reach thousands upon thousands of people. And uh, you know, every, every one of the, the mistakes that you talked about, I was shaking my head, yes, wow. <laughs> so uh, the, I think the topic that you covered was the 20 biggest mistakes that businesses make in marketing. Yeah. So uh, let's, uh, let's dig in. Let's start talking about some of these. Well, thank you, buddy. Uh, as a marketer and a business person, I don't know whether I'm a marketer first or a businessman first or a salesman first, but... It, all in all, marketing's got to go in front because they bring the people in for the salespeople to chat to and to do the business with. So number one mistake, Tony, is is a very important one. They don't have any people. They don't have a marketing team. They don't have any humans on the ground doing marketing. You know, mm -hmm. back in the back in the days when marketing was you placed your money. I mean, you just you, you, you placed money in an ad or TV, radio, newspaper. There you sort of three things you got to choose from. That made sense. Today, a lot of marketing is human capital. A lot of marketing is about the person sitting behind a desk. Your marketing budget has got to be almost half wages and half uh, actual thing because who's doing the LinkedIn posts? Who's writing the blogs? Who's putting the stuff out there on social media? Who's doing the website construction and SEO and all of these things? It's human capital that is a big part of it. So I always say to people, you know, how many hours per week in your business are actually allocated to marketing? And the number of hours per week determines the actual success level of the marketing team in most cases. So, you know, you've got to look at how do we hire a marketing person, I think. And there's three main types of marketing people when you break it down. There's the direct marketers. These are the people that, you know, from the telemarketing to the direct mail pieces to the email marketing, they, they're the people who handle the direct. The next type of marketing person is the online person. This is the person that is... Uh, doing the social media, doing the email, doing the, the uh, website, doing the SEO. And then the third type is the social marketer, the person doing networking or building strategic partnerships. So you got to look at what type of person do I want to buy in my business that will generate leads for me and mine. So that, that's mistake one, Tony. No one actually doing marketing, no one employed full time to do it. And because every business owner will tell me this, oh, I will do it. And then, of course, we know they don't. They get run out of time and, and it just doesn't happen. Well, Brad, you know, it's it's interesting. As you were talking about that at that meeting in January, uh, I was kind of shaking my head because for the first several years of, of our assessment business, uh, that's what I did. I was the one who did everything, but I, I, I could only go so far, I could only spread myself so thin. And a real turning point in our business was when I hired my first full-time, honest-to-goodness marketing CMO, uh, Matt Dixon. And I mean, he did things that I totally ignored and should have done. Yeah. And right after we hired him, a couple of years later, we hired a person to do all of our social marketing, our networking, you know, that, that whole thing. And then uh, uh, sometime this year, we hired a full-time, another full-time salesperson who is out there doing all the networking. So all three of those elements, we finally have done. You know, it, it's funny, Tony, and you can know marketing, you can understand marketing, doesn't mean you do it, you right. know? And that's the thing. I, I know how to eat properly and I know how to exercise, but unless someone actually makes my you know meals properly, I'll, I'll just eat whatever's there. Unless my trainer arrives, I, I'll do a little bit of work now, but I won't do a lot. Mm -hmm.